Oops. Okay, good. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my 100th video. Yeah! If you've seen all of them, thank you for watching. If this is the first one you're watching, then thank you for watching also. In celebration of today's celebration, I decided to make a Swedish themed video. First of all, there are a couple of classic jokes that always has to be told when you're young and when translated into English they don't really make as much sense. The first one, the biggest classic of all time is there was a road and it was sanded. So suck on that for a while. There's also this other classic joke that uh, Esther translated for me recently and it finally made sense. So the version in English has to do with tomatoes and ketchup if you can. But the Swedish version of this joke is that two tomatoes cross the road, <laughs> one gets hit by a car, and the other says, come on ketchup, let's go. <laughs> we also have a couple of tongue twisters in Swedish when translated do not really make sense either. The best one is, father, do sheep get sheep? No, sheep do not get sheep. Sheep get lamb. <laughs> when you say it in Swedish, it's Far for for for, nej for for inte for 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 lamb. You can also say, where did the road go? Which in Swedish is, var tog vägen vägen? <laughs> and he's driving in a field. You say, han är ute på en åker och åker. And if you want to say, the grim reaper steals your soul for no reason, you say, liman en själ din själ utan själ. And the king daddy of all weird sentences in Swedish that are actually sentences, even though you just use kind of like one word, is Knut satt vid en knut och knöt en knut. När knut knutit knuten var knuten knuten. And that is a legit sentence in Swedish. <laughs> we also have some other sayings that are very popular and that I like to use myself from time to time. One of them is that close does not shoot a rabbit. And it basically means that yeah, you were close, but you still sucked. There's also one that's uh, taste is like the ass, divided. Which means whatever floats your boat, to each their own, and so on. And there's also one that I don't really agree with, because uh, I need my personal space, but if there's heart room, there's ass room. Which basically means that if you want someone to fit in a couch for two people when there's like five people in it, then there's ass room for that person. Some other weird Swedish things are if you're patriotic, you're a racist. If you <laughs> have a Swedish flag somewhere, you're a racist. In Sweden, we do not date. We do not ask each other out on dates. We do not walk up to some random person and ask them for their number. We just... It just happens somehow. We don't date. That's just a weird concept to me, and I'm sure a lot of other Swedes would agree. In Sweden, a sharp intake of breath is considered an appropriate response to something, and means yes. <laughs> Most people already know this, I think, or I hope at least. Personal space, dude. If you don't have to sit next to me on the bus, then please don't. I mean, if, if you have to, that's weird, so just don't. Most seats are these two kind of two seats that I guess everybody in the entire world knows about. If someone sits down on one of those, in Sweden it's more likely that someone will stand rather than sit next to you. No sitting next to each other, that's weird. The weather in Sweden is horrible. I hate it more than anything in the entire world. And during the winters we have usually a lot of snow. In Malmö where I live, luckily there's basically no snow at all, so that's why I live here. But in other places it snows pretty much. It's not just snow. It's hug snow or not hug snow. When you're a child, nobody likes the not hug snow. You go out to play and you're like, oh man, it's not hug snow. What the fuck are we supposed to do now? Hug snow is when it's kind of soft and you can make snowballs. When it's not hug snow, it's kind of puffy and fluffy and just sticks to your mittens. Something else that pretty much annoys me a lot with other countries that Sweden is pretty good at is we divide the year up in weeks. I mean, sure, you can use dates and you can, like, months and stuff like that, but weeks are, like, the week number. Tip to the rest of the world, start using weeks, please. Apparently, also, we like standing in line. And this is also weird to me, because what country does not stand in line? I mean, if you're at a store or if you're waiting for something, I mean, you stand in line. What, what do you do when you don't stand in line? 
how do you know whose turn is next? Doesn't make sense. And last but not least, there's this word that's like, you can't really describe it. It's uh, a word that is so perfect and it works all the time. Every single person in Sweden knows what this word means, even though it can't really be defined. And that word is lagom. Some things just have to be lagom. And lagom is lagom. You can't really translate it because nothing is as perfect as that word, but just enough or appropriate amount. It's like it's a perfect amount, but it's not. You can't define it, so it's not really perfect as in I was expecting this amount, so it was a perfect amount that you gave me. I mean, logom is just logom. So as this entire video has been about Sweden and Swedish, I thought that I would take this moment to talk to you guys about what's poppin'. So Sweden is hosting a YouTube awards that's called Guldtuben, in English the gold tube. And what you do is you nominate your favorite YouTubers in different categories and on March 18th, so in three days, not six, three days, they see who gets the most nominations and after that the voting process starts. And if you by any chance like my YouTube channel, then I would very much appreciate a nomination. You don't have to if you hate it because why would you nominate a channel you hate? But basically, what you do is you go to the link in the description below called guldtuben.se and I know everything is in Swedish, but it's pretty basic. You log in with Facebook, it won't post anything at all on your account, so you don't have to worry about that. Then you fill in on the lines and you start writing my name, Katrin Bant, that we learned to pronounce in my last video. <laughs> And my channel will pop up, you click my channel, and then you scroll down, let's see. You scroll down, and then you click Hwicka In, spelled like this. And then you're done! And then you've nominated me, and I'll be super duper happy! That's all I have for you guys today! Don't forget to check out my two latest videos below, and subscribe to keep up to date on everything that I do. All my social media links are in the description below if you want to check them out as well. Until next time, have a very good one, and I'll see you later! Bye!